this is Attic Nerd, here for an anniversary edition, 1942 set, a strategy video for Axis and Allies. And well, it's finally Murica's turn to have a strategy. And, um, all strategies start out with something to buy, so here's what I think. You need a good amount of land troops, but not too many because you're kind of isolated and definitely need a navy in the Atlantic. So that's what a cruiser and sub is for. You have your researcher because you are one of the richest nations and you're pretty isolated and technology is going to help you a lot. And, um, yeah, so Navy to get you somewhere, Army to get, do something when you get there, and research to really improve on, um, what units you can buy, and other things like that. And your, and your research is safe if you place it home at the capital, because, um, nobody's gonna be able to take that over. Now let's move to combat models. Now see, there is a pretty common move to do torch on turn one. Now see, this is pretty slow and all, but you're gonna be moving your entire nation, uh, not nation, entire navy to um, North Africa, along with a good size of your defenses. And the Italians will probably drive you out. So what that do? So what that does is waste Italian time and money. So I think this is a good idea, but limit it. Don't pour everything. You should keep one transport there. I don't exactly know how much you will uh, be able to carry in your transport, but with the rules I play with, you can carry three. So you carry, um, artillery, infantry, and tank. Destroy that destroyer with the destroyer. This is risky. If your rolls go badly, you can lose everything. So, you could send a bomber to shore that up. And make sure it goes your way. Because as long as uh, the German dies the first round of combat, then your transport survives. So then you'll be able to land, and you have good odds of winning here. So, that's nice. And uh, be prepared for the Italians to swiftly kick you out. They might or might not get the transport. And then the other attack in Europe is I think they should bring this fighter down and bomb the Germans just like the British did. Now see this is not how it's originally set up. This is after an assumption of many turns. So a board could look completely different. You could have like Germany putting a ton of stuff here, which then you don't want to do a North Africa torch attack. But, most of the time, the Germans don't really bother and just leave that to the Italians. And the Italians don't get anything when they retake Morocco, because it was originally German. I think the Germans have figured something out here. Um, if the British really need help, send them reinforcements. They're your allies. You really want to make sure that they stay afloat because they're the really only place that you can stage an assault onto main Germany where it will be easy. Because sailing troops across in one big horde over multiple turns will get the Germans attacking you. And possibly you will lose some of your troops. So keep London alive. And then um, 
in the Pacific. See, all was well and good, but then the Japanese, and the, I assumed, they took out the Hawaiian fleet with minimal losses. So that's pretty good for them, but the, the Americans, they can't stand that. So, um, we've got to move some troops in here. I think that you can keep your battleship there as long as you make good use of your air force. Moving in the fighter from the Hawaiian Islands and bomber. Because I don't plan for the navy that we're building to go here. So you have to use your air force very wisely. And I don't think that you'll be able to reconquer any of these islands yet. There really isn't too much incentive for island hopping other than give, getting um, some of Japan's uh, bonuses. I guess you could call it a way for controlling Wake Island and all these small other island chains. Balkanol is worth an IPC, so you should definitely take that. And I think that, I can't remember right now, but I think that that it leads up to one of their bonuses. So Balkanol is quite important. It's also very useful for um, somewhere where you can put an attack on Japan. The Philippines is also good for that. Or mainland. Yeah, um, if the Soviets need help over here, you can send it to them. And make sure with China. China needs to survive as long as it can. So here's what you gotta do. Humpe, move to Yunnan. Siking, move to Yu Yunnan. Xi Yun, I'm sure this is very funny trying to watch me pronounce Chinese names. Move it to Ningazi. Ningazi. And move Ningazi to Xinha. I may pronounce every one of those wrong. But your goal is to consolidate it as much as you can. And you will be getting much less infantry because it's worth two. So you get two, two, two. You're getting three infantry this turn. Place two in Qinghai and place one in Yunnan. I don't have them out right now. I forgot to get them out. But two here, one here. And the Japanese are supposed to breeze through some of it. But then you will um, meet them at the Soviet border and here because this is a really thorn inside place to be because you're bordering French, Indo, China, Thailand. So you can move into there. They vacate it or if you have a big enough stack of infantry, if they have like one infantry there. So it's just an annoying place to be. And and for other non-combat moves, I really don't have any. You don't really have any troops out in places yet to non-combat move. So then I'm going to take this whole build. And it's all going to go in the east. Because I honestly think that um it's more important. Sorry, I'm saying um so much. I'm trying to find the right words. But the Germany first strategy is honestly the best one. So, as for overall strategy, going to strike Germany, try and get France with help from the British. And after you get France, Germany will fall soon. You can. Do a lot of things to get there. Moving up into Norway definitely helps. As long as they don't have too many troops there. And you can do all sorts of things. There are some times where you can put a factory there. But that's 
an interesting move, but sometimes it works out. So yeah, come over here. Make sure the Italians don't break through Egypt. So help um, the British if you need to. Help the British in Africa um, as much as they need to because you're actually closer. So you should help them, help your allies. And then in the West, just try and come up from underneath. Make sure the Japanese don't have these money islands and come up onto the mainland. You have to come through Soviet Union. And without the southern islands and the mainland, Japan's really nothing and you can outproduce them. And if you need to, you can outproduce any nation except maybe Germany. So outproduce them and just get so many troops so much faster than them that, that you win. And that was a strategy for America. Hope you had fun in your next game and hope this is helpful. Bye.